this is Comrade Sirius and welcome to another episode. This is episode number 87 and we have a lot of trains and we have better trains. Well, we can have, we don't. That's the thing. As you can see, this is a train that exports fuel and yet it's a long journey and I think we can give them a better locom locomotive. And yes, it will be this one. We have quite a few of those. I don't know why these guys have... Why these guys are such, so, so, such different, so different, but hey, we can make them work. This is the fir this is first of them. It's, go it's going home. So let's give them a few more. I'm using this railroad distribution office for it feels much better honestly there is also the second the second train you can see and once these pieces are done respectable this this long piece we can move the second the oil train under there as well but, well, we need more exports than this. These guys are currently almost overflowing. The reason is that these guys are quite, you know, quite useless for us. And they have nowhere to put it because, well, there are chemicals and plastics here. But I'm not sure who el who is bringing in stuff. Railroad distributions, Braslav. Yeah, it's these guys. Now they are now they are going to export. Yes, they are going to export alcohol. Which is not ideal. Can we give them? We can't. What we can though is we can change the cement train with better export one and I don't know where our main cement train is it's right here playing 152 meters so yes my guy your time has come to go home you cannot go home because there are too many of you 147 meters yeah one wagon less I think we can take it Will this work? It will. So, they'll basically switch places. And cement will be exported. With faster train, which will help us in the long run. Yeah. Okay, this train is going to fuel itself, but it's alright. It's currently only one of them on the line. And I don't think we need more. I'm just not sure. By the way, in terms of exports, like all exports, we have over 55,000 tons, almost 56,000. The limit is 25,000, so oh, we have. That's another goal. That has been done. That's already finished. So, well, that's that. By the way, we have a lot of money. That's, that's a good side. Can we just make more of these locomotives? Maybe even like you know, now? I think we can. Would be good. Let's move it there. Because, yes, the export office, I would like to get all of these small trains out. <laughs> yeah, kidding. This is a problem. Because you can't do anything. I'm almost thinking about, you know, having additional... Additional depot. 
just for mani just for manipulation stuff and so on. Because this is not good. And it's not working properly. Or we can somehow link it together. Well, that's probably not not a good option either. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's design. Maybe a small one or a longer one. Well, we can definitely afford a longer one. I will go for a longer one. Just because I'm fucking lazy. Or... Well, it simply doesn't look good anywhere near. But I got an idea. And the idea you have probably found out. I'm give it a mixed signal so it so it works. Yep. That's it. That's what we got. And... Yes, please. Build it. We will... We will use it. Don't worry. There's a lot of free space anyway. So... We might be willing to use it for something later on but currently this is only a gravel road will be fast let's let's allow them to build it because well there's no way to get this shit out <laughs> it annoys me a bit on the other hand we have quite a long train that can be can be built and we will we do have containers and you can see alcohol plastic chemicals it's quite a lot of stuff and yeah you're missing containers they are missing oh well, they're not, not not anymore but they have have been missing containers and they are not having bio waste okay maybe three of them If you press limit amount, no, that's not that's not useful. They will just work and we'll figure it out later. Yep, this is what I like. As you can see, we have quite a lot of trains sitting here, and that's the reason why we have six tracks. Just have trains waiting for unloading for unloading stuff. To be fair, I would like to export bricks. Well, I'm not sure that we are doing so. No, we are not doing it in Hardinden. The uh, main reason is probably that we are not having... Yeah, we are not having wagons for it. So that's a lot of stuff we need to do. 146 meters. If I add one more, 160, so it's no good. How long till the next train? Well, you know what? Let's start. Anyway. This train used to be working with cement wagons. Well. Oh, it's the second one. Okay. This is the one I want. Because it... 
Yeah, okay. Now it has it assigned, which is correct. 146. So, this thing is not built yet. And I want to send it, send the train down, down this path. So, you know what? Yep, get down here to the waypoint. Then wait until loaded with, you know, containers and all that jazz. And export it on Arlinden, because that's the only place where we can do such a thing. You wait until unloaded, and then you go back again. Is it working? I don't know. We'll see. It definitely left the depot, so... Yeah, you can only rehome those vehicles and I have nowhere to put them. That was a mistake on my part. We'll try to make sure it will not happen again. But it might, because you know me. Way delete waypoint. And here we go. Containers are, are getting loaded a lot faster. 200,000? That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not sending two trains at the moment, but in the future I might. Especially due to the lengthy way we need them to go. Because, yeah, our railroad construction office are currently building these bridges. And it's taking them a long time and it will not be better. We have two big bridges, three in fact. Then it's alright, then it will then it will be faster. Uh, well now it isn't. <laughs> so that's where we are. That's where we stand. For free, they are work working on those bridges. So I feel like we can cut this road and can send them here. Let me know when you're done, because that will be helpful. And once done, we can start on the rest of the network, because yep, eventually I would like to get to this piece of world as well, because, well, we're having how much? Three years. Three and a half years. That's not a lot. This one is banned. No, this one is banned. Okay. At least something positive. So, well, let's do it. There's basically nothing better to do than design a new city. Well, this sucks. I completely forgot about that small locomotive, so, well, now it goes. To be fair, there is a way how to negate this, because it is already loaded. So I can just say, you know, go here. It goes to the depot, and I say, do not go to the depot, go there, unload, yeah, wait until unloaded, and then, where we are, here, and then you can go and, you know, use the outer track, 
I need a waypoint so I can uncheck the depot thing. And now I now I put it back. It will do its job. And I will send those wagons down there later on. It's not a problem at all. Um just just a quick look how how are we look how are we here? Liquid fertilizer is all right. These guys are working with bio waste and with fertilizer it looks like we are okay, they are going for Yeah, they are going for solid fertilizer as well. I'm curious of about how many how many plants will we have at the end? Are we missing concrete? No, there's simply no there's simply no tracks. Not enough tracks. But they are doing. They are working on those bridges, right? Yeah, not ideal. Can't you just, you know one prior to one medium? We do not need both both directions right away. We'd rather have one and maybe faster. Also we have a lot of clothing. That helps a lot. Coal mountain. Oh yeah, that's the heating plant. That's alright. So let's go. Let's go. Night time has come. Great. Well that won't stop us. What we want here is well again to build a bridge which might be doable with people from Tarbat. So let's let's do it. We are slowly building up all of this area, though well slowly is the correct word for it. Absolutely. Yeah, this indeed all the rolling asphalt will happen sooner or later. Yeah, low priority, medium priority, yeah, bridges again to Isengard. Well, this is definitely some. This is definitely something we do not need, though. Not now. Can we? Or uh, well, we do not need, nor want asphalt footpath. That's completely useless. Okay, you know what? Do not construct any of these. Definitely not worth it at the moment. Well, you know what they say? Let them just finish all of this. Can we join it together? We can. So, you know what to do. Now, we have our construction things. This is the area where we cannot do and build anything. And if you look at it, as a big place where we can actually build stuff. Now, I have absolutely zero plans. So let's pause the game and take a look at some, you know, dimensions. A city can span about 800 meters in in the long run if it if it's supposed to be a relatively small city. The main road will go around here. So if it would be so in this area, then yep, yeah, 800. Then those 800 will be. Somewhere like this. This is not a bad thing. We can even move it further, further up. Yeah, behind these hills. 
You can also use this outline as a, you know, ring around road. What we also want though is a huge, and by huge I mean really huge, forge. It's not a region forge, it will be, you know what, single reactor nuclear power plant, or maybe double. Well, let's start with single, we can have more of them, it's not a problem at all. We can have more power plants. These beasts have quite... Quite some amount of, you know, workforce workforce they need. If you look at pollution, it's not much. It's 9 tons, this is 14 tons. We can definitely have more, we can even have a second one up there in a region. Can we even make it on the hill? No, we can't. That's exactly over or behind where we can put it, so... Not great. There's the other option of having another line from the side. Like if we would if we would to be put it down here. Yep, nuclear power plant. If I would be to place it in this area, which is totally doable. Now I would need around 500 meters. That's too close. That is definitely too close. So, those power plants... At least the small one. Might be in the wallet. Yep. This is exactly what we need, by the way. Yeah, good. The only thing it needs is a cooling tower. Obviously, one L1. Well, we need to go for one L1 because of sack rules. So that's not perfect for us in any way. I can't just make them happier, can I? I can, this way. Great. Does this cause pollution? 12 tons air, still doable. Okay, start with cooling pipes. One, two. That's it. We will do we will finish it later on. Now what we know is that we have a road. We have a road up this slope. We probably do not want to keep it on on the slope because that's just that's just silly. So what we'll do instead is we bring the road down here. Yeah, one, two. Okay, again from the other side, or maybe just outlines, yeah, just outlines, it's better. Shortcuts are friends. Um, terrain smooth. Yeah, well, I would say good enough, we can even try to make it a little less, well, maybe with some smoothing first was the whole purpose of it yep that's definitely okay and the road will run parallel to what we have this is a bo borderline of the city or we can at least call it that way this is the main main road we can say yeah it will be where are we going to go with it 
well, it feels like one bridge and second bridge maybe is the way. Because yes, we can then bring supplies. Yeah, from the Tharbat. Yeah, if need be, we can do another. Well, we have a decent connect. We will ha we have a decent connection to the highway already. So either e either down this, either down the drain, or maybe I would like to use the highway. We can engineer. We can engineer something. I'm positive about it. Don't worry, don't worry now, worry, worry later. Yeah, so this is the way where we end. And the city will be on the right, on the right from it. Now, those dimensions of the city, and we're not having a heating plant, so don't forget. Dimensions of the city will start here and will end at around 800 meters. So, that's it. And let's start here from the top. So this is the approximate distance. Erasing the second line. Yeah, I know it's a bit further away, but well, we can do it. Well, looks like down here is the biggest is the biggest hub for citizens. What are we going to do? What are we going to want as a citizen hub? We do not have train tracks drawn here, and yes, these do not count because they end here, and I'm probably not making them going full circle because this is just a branch line. Pro won't probably be good enough for the case. Yes, we might be able to do another railroad, cut, another branch going, you know, over the highway or under it to bring stuff here. Or, to be fair, it's probably even a better option. To just use the branch we already have at like at, at here at Lipsapol and Zbraslav and you know just turn it down. Probably a good I good enough idea that I will stick with that. I would go for buses. If we would need more, like trams, we can do it later. But I would go. I'm going for buses right now. And yes, I have a lot of mods, so let's switch those off for a moment. I don't know how large city I want, but let's start big because that's that feels right. There was the cross down here all the way. Are you sure? Because I am not. Well, now I am. It's the cargo station, that's <laughs> not what I want. So, this officially is Eregion Central Bus Station. Now for the road layout that will go through or around the city. I would definitely like to have a, an end station, but it will not be in the city center.
So keep in mind that the big road, the main road, is going up there. And we will have some type of crossroad. I will go for a roundabout. Because that's a type of crossroad that definitely suits our need. Yeah. It can be a it can be a big one. Yep, yeah, like this one. That's perfect. And yeah, for now, let's connect it this way. We can we can change it afterwards. From here, road will lead to the city. You can almost, you know, put put those markers down because they won't be they won't be needed much. What I will do, I changed my mind a little bit, only a little bit, don't worry. But I will do a double double road to the city. It will help a lot with in in and outcoming traffic. And will be less prone to bad I do bad things happening to it. Also, as a way of going out of the station, a smaller roundabout can be constructed. Maybe. Yeah, the other way around is good. Yeah, let's have a wave. No problem at all with it. Yeah, that's the base. We currently do not need more. But we'll definitely utilize it. Afterwards, we might need another industry over over here and more importantly on the other side. So I will try to make it work or at least, you know what, make adjustments for it. And let's start of it. Now the key question is, how many people do we want to live in the area in a region? Because business here is not going to be it's not going to be so you know heavily on people related. This is hundred and 20. If we would go for two power plants, one single and one twin new reactor, it's 120 and 60. That's 180 people. That's, let's say, 600 per ship for all of these workplaces. It's a really small city. Is there anything else we can and want to do here? That's the key question. We have uranium. We probably need people for the uranium business, right? Most of it, and yes, into industrial zone. Yeah, uranium. That's quite a lot of people. Just some rough counting. We got two mines. That's 200. So let's say 200 are. Nuclear power plants, this is another 200, that's 400. Processing plants, we have two. So, 
That's 150. So 550. One uranium conversion plant. It's 120, so well, round it up 700. And yeah, 900. Nine, 950. Combined with those nuclear power plants and so on, it's around 1100 times 3, respectively times 4, because we need some people for the city. It's around 4,500 people. Not bad, but it's definitely something. So, this bus station is probably, it's probably a good start. Let's put it this way. And I will remove one of these roads because I want them, I want them to be constructed re with relative ease and, you know, and other stuff. So let's design the core of the city, how it will look like, and then we'll go away and I will just move back when needed. So for the people, I'm not designing residential complexes. Let's do some grocery. Let's do some grocery. So we can either have a big center, maybe the prior one, or Okian. I don't think we have the big one yet. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it there. This will be a big city. So maybe it deserves. Maybe it deserves it. I don't know. Let's let's act like it like it does. So right next to the big bus station. Leave it a space because we need and want roads there as well. Do I want to implement a meat storage? Where is the closest meat storage we have? Meat storage is or should be in fact in this area, only it isn't. It's not a good not a good sign. So, yeah, let's let's do at least a small one, seventy-five tons. Not great, but well, it's not small either. And don't forget, it's a shop. So means a lot of it means a lot of waste. So that's basically the base for it. We can give it only gravel route. No, we'll do it asphalt. Gra gravel routes might be those too. So that's uh, that's the shop. Alcohol might happen somewhere. There's the big pub, by the way. Oh, but we can give them a restaurant as well. Alcohol kiosk. Warehouse. Two tons. Or the standard pub. But we have standard, standard pub. <laughs> we can give them the alcohol kiosk. It would be fun to have it. Well, oh, not here and not now. Culture. We have the cinema. We have House of Culture as well. Can we look into mods? Now we can, because they need to be, you know, comparable. But basically everything is, so. Especially now from Robs, so. I'm not terribly worried. Yeah, cinema is a lot of concrete and steel, but the small house of culture is basically a props one. You can you can probably even even find it somewhere if you look hard hard enough, which I won't. So I 
Okay. Some big one. Yep, LSM House of Culture seems great. Do we want it on this side? Like for real? I don't I don't know. Maybe we want. I will I will wait for a moment. We can also have an, an attraction, you know, museum. National Uprising Museum. Don't we have it in Tarbat? Would be stupid to have both two of the same structure. No, this is a Lviv Circus that I'm building. Okay, please finish it. So, yep, yeah, this is what we'll do. I will give these people a museum because that will be a nice dominant in the in the city center. It will look good and will and will be great. We are not having a TV station yet, but I'm planning it on Tarbat. That would be that's all we need. Now sport can be outsourced a bit. It doesn't need to be directly in. In the city. So that can wait. What we need is crime and justice. At least the secret police. We have both big and small. No, we don't. We don't have the big one yet. I really need it. And yeah, this is the back back side. This is the front side. To be fair, it will look good on the square. And that's basically all we are doing today. We are designing a square. So that's what we'll do. Well, let's do the square today and then just leave it because it will be too much. City, city hall. Yeah, we already have one so we can take a look. Well, this is probably not, not needed at all. Again, we can go into basically any, any mods because that's what we're... We already fulfilled the condition. <laughs> right next to the old, old style. Yeah, I'm the city accounting office. It doesn't look bad though. And I'm curious about one thing. We can have a technical university. Small one. I would like to pair it with the with the city office. You now like, like make it look that it belongs together. Is it possible? Might be, might be not. Yep. Perfect. So, there's the complex. There's the square. Let's put some monument in the middle. Because that's what we always do. And that's what, that's what I really like. And... Did they fix it? I remember, you know... This guy that has 6% and 
Thorn, but the cave didn't have it, and now it has. Plus 6% 650 meters, well, hell yeah. Well, we'll be looking mostly from the bottom side, so that's what we'll do. I'll put, put it slightly... Yeah, slightly away. In the middle. And some bake... Can you... No, bake fountain is too big. Medium fountain, can we mirror it? We can. And this will be perfect because, as you can see, people will be able to walk through it diagonally. You know, from those shops and so on. So this is the basics of Irrigion. We didn't do much. And yeah, this thumbnail will look a little bit sad. And that's probably all, you, all we can do today because it's 45 minutes already. In the next episode... We will continue with this city. Have a nice day. And yeah, sorry, as a bonus. With the monuments, you can now download skins for these big ones. Someone has made them, so you can color, color it if you want to. It's for these plaques, the vanilla. Soviet symbol and Soviet emblem. I'm not sure we have a, we have the other one somewhere. Oh my! Because this one not. It's just a symbol. I think in Harlinden we have it somewhere. Oh, this is the big one. Yeah, this is the smaller one. You can see. You can simply change it into golden. Nice touch. And that's all. Let the gameplay. Bye bye.